Wait, 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 wait. So, <laughs> long time no see. Well, it's not really because uh, I've just uploaded another video, but that was filmed quite a long time ago. Anyway, long story short, you've clicked on this video because <laughs> this stuff is all coming off today. <laughs> Ever since I started growing it out, I wanted to donate to the Little Princess Trust and this charity makes wigs using hair and I wasn't sure when is the right time to do so. They accept hair at most lengths but because they've got a backlog of hair that's between 5 and 7 inches, they want it to be around a foot or longer so I've waited to that point and it's... Wow, it's probably about 11 inches, but it is winding me up now. <laughs> it's, getting, it's, it's getting very difficult to maintain. Uh, yeah, it's coming off. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think the last haircut I had was at the end of 2020, when all the barbers opened and they cut too much off. So, so I was a bit traumatised to go back to a barber's, but yeah, it, it needs to come off now. I'm, 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 ha I'm, glad, I'm glad I've done it. So the plan of action is to wash it. Um, my sister said she wanted to braid it. So yeah, I'm gonna chop chop. <laughs> yeah. End of journal. <laughs> Currently on the way to get it all chopped off now. As you can see, I've had a shower, fully changed, and yeah, it's basically the end of an era. I've got a little spot there which uh, unfortunately can't do much about, but it is what it is, unfortunately. I've got a BMW right on my house, but yeah, that's basically that. A smile and love day and I'll should have it. Yeah, so sorry for cutting the drop early, but someone needed to warn you for what you're about to see, because by Jove, I had some mad hair. <laughs> so, obviously it's been a while, it's currently the 6th of August, <laughs> uh, I'll get my hair cut again next week, as you see on the side it's a little bit, a uh, bit longer than it, it was upon school. And it's been a month since I've cut it off, uh, <laughs> I have been a bit busy, it doesn't take that long to send hair off, but I wanted to make sure I, you know, capture it for my hair documentary, it's not really a documentary, it's a YouTube video, but I wanted to basically make sure everything was done properly because once I've sent it off you know if I want to do it again it's going to be three years so the long and the short of it is when I was reading through the website so even though I'm donating my hair it costs another 750 pounds to make and manufacture the wig for the children obviously who've lost their hair due to cancer so I wasn't originally going to do a fundraiser for it because I don't particularly like asking people for money I just I'm a little bit awkward so I just think you know, if I went out to, if I was to ask people, I, just, I, I don't know, it just, it just doesn't sit right with me. I know it's for charity and you shouldn't, I shouldn't feel that way, but yeah, I'm just a bit, just a bit awkward. It's, it's kind of post-raising. So what I'm going to do now is quickly just set up a fundraiser. So 
So basically, we got the page. I don't know what's happened here, but like the photo's real, real grainy. I think I'm gonna sort out later. But basically, what I'm gonna do now is donate the first 25 quid to kick it off. Obviously, we can have gift days. If you're in the UK, so as you can see, I've kicked it off. We've got 25%. Obviously, when that gets close to 100 pounds, we're gonna change it, make it up, and then so that we never reach the target. Um, there's just a little description. Right, so I actually don't know how long my hair is, so I need to measure this now. This one as well, I don't know if you can see, but it's got like a, a nice long blonde streak through all of it. So I've got my trusty Klein 7.5 meter tape measure. And that, it's about 14 inches. So a nice, lovely 14 inches of hair, uh, obviously for the charity. Submit that, and then that gets sent to my inbox and then I just have to print it off so it appears it's run out of black ink so I'll have to print this out somewhere else basically long long and short of it is I've got the new form uh, with black ink all over it I can um, basically send it away if you're not aware already donate to that link right so I've got a bag probably not the best sort of bag it's not really one I what I thought it'd be, so I'm just going to try and delicately, delicately put these all in the bag. And then, so obviously, if now this envelope gets wet, not that it will, but you know, I want to take precautions that it doesn't get damp, damp and goes mouldy. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put this in here. And that is one envelope ready to go. Hair is nicely protected and it's time to go and send it off. <laughs> Basically, I cleaned my car out the other day and I took the, the camera out of the dashboard because it all, all melted. So that's why you're down there. Nothing, no, nothing really else going on except it's really fucking hot in here. It's 28 and a half degrees. There's not really a lot else to say. Definitely could have gone there multiple times. That car almost just caused a crash. Pulled, pulled out on someone else. Still waiting, by the way. I've just seen dad and, dad and my sister. Fucking hell. I've been sat in like five minutes now. Right, I'm going for it. After that jag. Oh fuck, there's a BMW coming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Royal Mail. First class card, you know, I'm not sure because that's that's my What's old hair. Uh, it's my hair, so okay. I'm donating donating it to the Little Princess Trust. I just oh, don't nice. really, I don't really know how they want it sent off. To be honest with you. So you've got standard, which means you don't have any tracking on your Christmas. Okay. Or you've got signed for, so you know it's been signed for by somebody. How much does that one cost? So you've got first class, 375, or second class at 375. Uh, we'll just go first class then. Yeah? Yeah. And that's kind of that, to be honest, boys and girls. Um, let's see if I can try and stick you in, inside the steering wheel, which I seem to can. I'm not sure if that is completely... <laughs> Jeez, that was a nice turning circle. As I say, not really a big fan of ask, asking people to donate money, but generally, if I say, you know, don't forget to donate if you haven't already. Uh, I'm not specifically asking you. I'm not specifically asking you. I'm just kind of hinting that you should probably donate. Sorry, my bad. Another turn. If you haven't already, just just give it a look. And you know, by watching the video and promoting it to the wider audience, it's um, it's spreading awareness at least for the Little Princess Trust and the work that they do. That card let me go. Um, so yeah. I mean, my final thoughts is I don't regret doing it. I mean, I, I like my hair very much more at this length. I think on that note, it's time to end the video. And if you did enjoy, be sure to smash that like button. If you're also new around here, be sure you subscribe. And um, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.